I love to bake things in nine by 13 pans because that usually means I can put all of my ingredients in together, pop it in the oven, and I'm really, I'm good to go. So I'm with my friend Alexis Thompson, local radio personality, but also my partner in crime for some of these things. Yes, I'm excited. So you don't, you do cook a lot, or you Not don't? Not really. No. no. Okay. I like to go out to eat. <laughs> I also like this to go out so to bad. eat. This is so bad. I'm really bad. I know. I, you know, I don't have kids and lots of going out, so, yeah, and heating things up. Yeah. Well, and leftovers. Enjoy it while you can. Yeah, I guess. Right? Yeah. I guess. But so, this is good for me to know because this is, is like a really good, like it looks like a, a recipe where you can have a lot of friends over. and. Yep, it could be an appetizer, but it also could be a dinner. Um, so it's pretty easy. The first thing we're going to do is take our trusty 9 by 13 pan okay. and spray it with some cooking spray. Perfect. Then we are going to take, and you could use, then I have chosen the sweet Hawaiian rolls oh. for this particular recipe, mm -hmm. but you can use any kind of um, dinner rolls that appeal to you for this. Okay. So what we're going to do is these rolls come all together in the package and we need to cut them all in half. But what I've done because I'm kind of lazy is I have simply sawed through this oh, entire thing so that they're all together. The base Perfect. is still connected. So okay. we can go ahead and take these, sometimes the tops don't stay connected, but that's okay because we're going to have to top our, okay. our secret dish anyways. So okay. then you can go ahead and put this in the bottom of the pan okay. and just kind of center it. All right. Before we started, I preheated our oven to 350. So the next step is we are going to layer cheese all nice. over here. Okay. My kids, um, some hate cheese, some like it, so I might even choose to leave the okay. cheese off half of it. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. So, is that enough? Yeah, that okay. is enough. Okay. okay. Then we're going to pop this in the oven and let it melt, and then we'll put our topping on. But first, what I'm going to do is show you how to make the topping. Okay. So I have about a pound of ground beef. You could use ground turkey. You could use Italian sausage. You could use a mix if you want. It just depends on what you want the flavor of these basically tiny little sandwiches is what we're making. Well, pulled pork might be good too. Yes, it might be good. So okay. we've got this pound of ground beef that I've browned and then you're going to add some or all of a can of tomatoes. It just depends kind of what you want that to look like. So Jeez. I can add some and we can stir it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Look at teamwork. Then you're going to mm. stir in um, some mustard okay. and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce to flavor this up. So you can kind of Yum. think these are going to end up being like mini hamburgers or, you know, mini quote unquote sliders. So we basically, by adding the tomatoes and the mustard, are, are adding our um, ketchup and mustard on our burger. Mm, the smell is good. Okay, Alexis, we've melted yeah. our cheese. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the topping. All right. So first spread the ground beef that we mixed with the tomatoes and the mustard and the Worcestershire sauce. So go ahead and spread the meat and just cover, do a nice layer, you know, maybe like a half inch and then just cover the base of our bread. Okay. All right. How's that? that? Looks Great. Okay. That looks really good. Next, bacon. All right. So sprinkle bacon again all, no, over the kidding. top. <laughs> Put all of this on? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Just a little sprinkling. Okay. How's that? That looks great. All okay. right. All right. Then more, more cheese, please. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yum. Yeah, my husband's more the chef at my house. It's kind of like I won't learn how to turn on the lawnmower or the grill because I don't, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> and then that would mean. See, I I'll mow the how. lawn any day. Yeah. Well. Okay. Okay. How's perfect. that? Okay. It's awesome. Now we're going okay. to cover the tops of our sandwiches with our little buns. The final we'll step okay. is we're going to use the microwave to melt down our butter, brown sugar. Um, adding the mustard and the Worcestershire sauce to create the glaze that goes over the top. That's the last step. Then we pop it in the oven at 350 just until it's heated thoroughly. Okay. Alexis, I have one more trick with a 9 by 13 I want to show you. Okay. All right. Okay, Alexis. Okay. My family loves tacos and we like hard shell tacos. So you know how you have to bake the shell and then by the time you get them to the table and you go to put your meat in, they've cooled off? Well, <laughs> you don't just take them out of the box and put the meat in it. You just like, you just no. put them out and you put, you heat them up. What? <laughs> what? Okay. I, okay. So, so why? Why? <laughs> on the package of hard shell tacos, it oh, gives instructions. Probably, I don't read instructions. Okay. <laughs> so yes, I will okay. tell you that once you heat them up, they taste so much better. Oh. But again, they cool off by the time they get to the table. So okay. here is my brilliant idea. Okay. We are going to fill all these shells 
And then also put the cheese on top. Okay. And then we are going to bake them according to the package instructions. And then when they come out of the oven, they are ready to roll and people can just add their cold toppings. Cool. Okay, so this is right out of the box. This is out of the box. Okay. I just laid them up in this 9 by 13 and uh, let's, let's start filling All them up right. with meat. Let's do it. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. -mm, so good. Mm -hmm. What a different set show. <laughs> so yummy. Mm. Who knew? Who knew? Mm. To learn more about The Happy House, visit thehappyhouse.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram.